Hi, my name is Glenn and I am a talent development manager and I switched from Power BI to Microsoft Excel. And for more, more reviews like this, click below. So with Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Excel, we obviously use those two things for analytics. Um, in talent development, I respectively use it for our training metrics and also our recruiting metrics. So there's different various things that we pull there. Uh, for training, it would be obviously training completion, various trainings that we assign on a given month. And then for the recruiting side, we track various things like hiring budget, what we call hiring budget, hiring velocity, which is the speed that we um, uh, close job requisitions. So those are the two main things I would say, but primarily we're using it to showcase the analytics that uh, really show if we're performing well in the training and recruiting aspect or not well. So Microsoft Excel is definitely best for customizing the data. Um, there's a lot of raw data that we use that come from various um, vendors. Uh, this can include AT&T, this can include uh, Samsung, Apple, um, obviously some from our third party recruiting company. And so Microsoft Excel allows us to put in all that data and really just kind of customize it in a way where we can manipulate it. Um, it's easier for us to uh, adjust, especially when you're dealing with multiple hands. So there are different people that need different reports. So Microsoft Excel allows us to send those reports and everybody to understand on a simple platform like Excel. So Microsoft Power BI was a very powerful analytics software. Um, it allowed us to really showcase the data in a very easy, understandable way. And, um, you know, we used it a lot, I would say, in the past for um, training reports. And it allowed us to kind of showcase the training reports broken down by market, where our district managers um, would go in and they would be able to see the completion rates, um, various things that... Um, you know, they wanted to see in a very easy way. So Power BI was, uh, I use it a lot for presentations. So when I was presenting the data, either recapping, I, you know, Power, Microsoft Power BI was a great way because the data was just so easy to understand from a graph standpoint. Um, you know, there's different things that you can showcase in it and it's easy to switch, you know, to showcase different markets or different analytics. So with Microsoft Power BI, it was a little bit harder um, the reason why is because you needed to take the data input into the system and then it would have to, um, you'd have to kind of customize it in a way of how you wanted to show the data. So there's a lot more customization that you would have to use with Microsoft Power BI. It took us a little bit more time to um, make that functional. And the reason why we switched actually to Microsoft Excel is because it was a lot easier for us to deal with. Uh, we got a new analytics person. He preferred Microsoft Excel. And so when he was taking all of these different data points, it was just easier for him to use Microsoft Excel to put these things in and obviously share it with different people that maybe wanted to do showcase different things with those analytics. And I'll be honest with you, sometimes it would be putting that data from Excel into Power BI, but we learned that Microsoft Excel, it really starts with there. So if you're looking um, for an analytics software that's easy to use, that a lot of people understand, and it's more customizable if you need to manipulate data, Microsoft Excel is really the way. Um, like I said, we switched to Microsoft Excel because we were getting various data from different, you know, different vendors and things like that. And it was just a lot easier for us to put together the data first initially than to put it into Microsoft Power BI. Now, if you're looking for a software that is, you're, you're gonna be doing a lot of presentations, showcasing or reviewing of data, uh, Microsoft Power BI is bar none the best thing you could do. Um, both are great analytics software. One's more customizable than the other. One's better for presentation more than the other. So it really just depends on what you need. Uh, for us, Microsoft Excel kind of allows us to manipulate, customize the data to how we want it to be uh, before we showcase it um, rather than Microsoft Power BI.